Capricorn, it's me Stormy and here is your horoscope for September 2018 and Capricorn, man, oh man. First of all, we've got Saturn and Pluto coming out of retrograde in your sign, so forward motion. We've got none of the personal planets in retrograde, so forward motion. Mars has been in your sign in and out of retrograde, but now we've got forward motion. But I do want to acknowledge Capricorn. I think a big thing that has happened and that you've been learning about over this last three months has so much to do with you and what you value and maybe even having to trash and get rid of an old value system that you've been living by, right? I'm sure that things have come up over this last three months for you where you have really made a big mistake with it. You're like, oh, forget it. This is over, this relationship. Oh, if it, I'm just going to spend this money. Oh, just forget it, whatever, right? And you found out that it's a mistake and you had to go back and redo it because you realized that your value structure around that particular something was inaccurate. But the great part about the retrograde is it helped you get in alignment with what is right for you. You. And now that we're in September, this forward moving motion, you've got the energy to move forward on the value system and set of beliefs that are actually in alignment with you. So <clears throat> now, like I said, those could have been anything from financial mistakes that you made, relationship mistakes that you made, um, even business mistakes that you made because you weren't actually putting your full talent to the test out there. So really interesting. Keep me posted. Let me know what, it, what was your blip over this last three months, okay? But no worries because this month, like I said, we've got energy to move forward. So let's get into this. Right here at the beginning of the month, Mercury is going to be joining the sun in Virgo, a fellow Earth energy. So kind of nice. We like to rock that. But more so than anything, because Mercury is of the mind and the sun is light, heat, life, vitality. Where the sun goes, you want to show up. You want to shine. You want to really come through. So in the ninth house, the first thing I think of with you, Capricorn, is that you could be traveling, right? You could be traveling. You could go, be going someplace. You could be going on a trip or something like that. But the very next couple things I think of are first of all faith. I always teach the ninth house as faith. This would be brimming faith for you. Maybe you're really contemplating faith. Maybe you've gotten to see yourself have to stand on a new faith or you're developing a faith or a ritual or a set of practices. Whatever it is, really beautiful energy because it's coming from the heart and the head. They're in alignment this time. Now you could also be like, oh, I need to go back to school. I need a license. I need a, a certification. Oh man, I got to get certified with the state for this. Oh, it's time for my business to renew its licensing or whatever it is. So you could definitely be doing some education slash certification things in here. For a few of you, this could bring legal things to the table. And if it does, you'll likely have to pay attention to the details of what's coming up with it so that you can kind of see how the outcome is going to come in your favor or not. Okay. The last thing I think of with the ninth house is holy pachanga. If you have written that book, let's get it published. Please, let's get it out. The ninth house is where we expand out. Writing, publishing, broadcasting, that podcast. Yes, please create a YouTube channel. I would love that. The other last thing I think of is marketing. So Capricorn, if you have somehow had a hold back um, and you haven't been really marketing, really getting yourself out there, this may be a great time to be able to do that for you. Not to mention on the ninth, we've got a new moon happening in Virgo. So again, fresh beginning, light, possibilities are endless, right? Because at a new moon, the sun and the moon are hanging out together. So possibilities are endless here. Plant those seeds of intention for your ninth house world so that they can start to be worked on and coming up, coming to flourish in, in the next four weeks, okay? Now, first, let's back up to the sixth, though, because we've got big granddaddy Saturn, your ruling energy, any old ways, coming out of retrograde. So whenever your ruling planet is out of retrograde, regardless of where it's at, you feel better. You get a little waiting to exhale, you know what I mean? So this being in your first house, however, one of the things that you've been working on and you've had to get your life together because that's what Saturn says, we're gonna mature, you gotta be honest, we gotta be real, we've gotta come current because that's how we live in the now, spiritually, maturely, right? As Capricorn, you have had to see some pieces of yourself and the things that you believe that don't work, you don't need them anymore. It has really been having to let go so that you can let live, you know what I'm saying? I 
know you know what I'm saying because you've had to put in the work here. Not to mention, with Saturn in the first house and in your sign, one of the things I think of is in some way, shape, or form, you might have been getting a new identity, which maybe got married, maybe got divorced, maybe you got separated, maybe you became a president, maybe, you know, whatever it is, you've got a brand new identity that has been taking shape right here. And here's the thing. It's coming retro, it's coming out of retrograde in a trine energy, which is so helpful for you. So that whatever maybe even is still challenging for you, um, with some work and some push through, this is still in your favor, okay? So forward motion here as well. Now again, on the 9th, we've got that new moon happening in Virgo, but we've also got Venus moving into Scorpio with Jupiter. Now Venus is the little benefic planet. Jupiter is the big benefic planet, okay? So they like to be together. They're not exact or anything like that, but they do like hanging around each other. So this is a lot of good energy running through your 11th house. You could be getting social. You could be updating your profile in the social zones, whether that be, <coughs> excuse me, Facebook, um, Reddit, YouTube, any of these things. I would definitely tell you too, along with the marketing energy that you're rocking at the beginning of the month, if people can't find your business, your product, who you are, whatever, or it is not current, this is the energy to bring it forward. The other thing I think of Capricorn, we've got Venus and Jupiter here in the 11th house and Jupiter could not give two dirty tacos about some romance. He just, it's not his priority, but Venus, that is her priority. So you could definitely be finding yourself in a more solid romance or knowing that you're in a solid romance or relationship with someone who was once a friend. So whether it's a new romance coming in or something where you're kind of, you know, again, waiting to exhale and you see that you can relax into what's going on. This is a gorgeous energy. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. You don't have to possess. You don't have to manipulate. Just be. Be social. Be friends and invite those new people into your life, okay? Now on the 11th, hey, we've got Mars getting up off of you, moving out of your sign, <laughs> right? You have experienced so much of this retrograde energy, then some forward energy, which this energy, when it's in your sign, feels very stop and go. So maybe not a lot of forward progress, maybe not a lot of heat in what you've been doing, but that's okay. Now Mars full getting ready to use that direct energy and move forward into Aquarius. This is where I say, first of all, you can make money here, right? Mars gives you the action, the go, the passion, the sex, the libido to make money here, right? So you can have <clears throat> your income sector start to look differently. The other thing that I think is huge for you is your value system. You're living with different esteem, a different value system. You know yourself. You know some circumstances a little bit different. You know some talents that you have. You're bringing them to the table. And this Mars energy is saying, yes, honey, let's push forward. Let's go, right? Maybe even very assertively is how you're moving. But it's definitely opportunity to um, bring some of the sexy back to your financial life and to your value life. Now, on the 17th and 18th, these are two days I just want you to keep in mind. Really, the energy will last till the 28th, but I think this is the pinnacle of it, okay? Mars and Uranus are going to square, and when they square, this is a warring energy. This is disruption. <clears throat> it is chaos. It is rebellion, okay? This is happening for you between your second house and your fifth house. So I'm telling you, somewhere in here, what comes up for me with you is that something with your children could be going on. Maybe one of your children is taking on your value system or they are costing you a lot of money or something like that. Or and when I say children, I can also mean your brand new idea, your brand new business, your brand new romance, that investment, whatever it is, it could just be clanging together. Now a square puts us in a box and it puts us under a lot of pressure. It's doing this to us so that we will take an action to spring from the box. So you will take an action at this time under this energy, but you want it to be an action that is not one where you're losing your tacos and you're freaking out, compromising your value system and your um, reputation. Don't do that. This is Uranian territory. Respond innovatively, creatively, um, get inventive about what the new answer is. And whatever you do, respond differently than you normally would. And that is the most sexy use of this rebellious energy. But please don't write any checks that your butt can't cash. I'm telling you, it is not worth it going forward. It's just not. You'll compromise your reputation in a way that you cannot see coming right now. So be inventive, be creative, handle it a little bit different. On the 22nd, we switch seasons. 
Oh my gosh, we switched seasons. We moved to the autumn equinox. This is when the trees start to show us how beautiful it is to just let things go. They let those leaves go, right? They're like, we don't need these. We're done with this season. And that is very much so, I think, the metaphor of what's been happening for Capricorn. So we move into this new season. We're going to slow down. We're going to cool down. We're going to move towards your birthday, which is also very exciting. Now, on the 24th, we've got a full moon happening in Aries. And this is going to light up your fourth house, home, family, real estate, property property, foundational level beliefs that you have, that you've been building a life on. Now this also has a very Saturn, heavy Saturn influence, which is in your sign. So one of the things I do think of is because the full moon says that something has to be ended, acknowledged, or adjusted. You've got a shift coming in your home zone. Now to the positive, but potentially scary, maybe you're moving out of living with somebody, right? Okay, you've been living with that ex for a hundred years and you guys need to finally decide what you're gonna do, right? Maybe it's time for you to not live together. Maybe you've been really hesitant to move in with this person because maybe it's just too good to be true and you decide it's time to combine your life. Maybe you've got a child moving out or moving in. This is definite change to the house situation. Maybe everybody's moving, right? Or maybe you've been waiting for housing. I mean, whatever it is, there's just this definite influence of change within the housing system. Now, sometimes what I do think of with change in the housing system as well is looking at if maybe one of your parents or a family member or something like that that has got some changing medical condition maybe um, that is causing you to need to put a little bit more effort, time, and attempt, attention there. So if that's a case in your life, then I'm sending you a lot of love, okay? Now, at the end of the month here on the 30th, we've got Pluto coming out of retrograde in your sign. Now, Pluto retrograde, he too was saying, Capricorn, you got to let go of some of this stuff, but first I need you to see it. So now as he's direct, he says, Capricorn, the old Jew has to die off. We can't use that version anymore. They're not prepared for the journey going ahead. So that person has to die off so that the new you, the new identity, the new way you show up in life can live because this is the Capricorn that is set for this ne next leg of the journey. Remember, we're in the autumn time now. Let that old leaf fall off Capricorn because it's time for the new one to blow forward and develop and get ready, okay? All right, guys, I think it's going to be a great month. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. Please keep me posted down below with what's happening for you, how this translates into the magic, into your own world, okay? If you need a reading, come find me at stormygrace.com. And if you don't need anything on this planet, let me just thank you for spending some time with me. I really appreciate it, okay? I love you guys very much, and I will see you next month. Bye!